<laughs> what the heck? What the action? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> you, you just knew it was going to be ridiculous, didn't you? Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Bee Island, which uh, is a very technologically advanced factory builder uh, where you have to build up a hive uh, in the middle of the water, defend against hornets, and basically just, like, make a, a technologically efficient factory. It's kind of cool. As ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is going on, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. So, this is our operation. These are our bees. This is our queen right in the center. Uh, we are... We are in possession of a good few resources, and I will actually uh, have a little look, and I'll show you exactly what we've got here. So, uh, we have got some pollen, we've got nectar, we've got hardened wax, we've got wax, we've got honey, and we've got ambrosia. Pollen and nectar are the two base resources. They are the resources that we will use to make literally everything else, um, and it's collected by our bees over here. Uh, speaking of bees, we've got a few different types. We've got the spear bees, the fighter bees, and then we've also got the ordinary bees. We've also got a builder bee right there. You can see with a little hammer, uh, he is capable of building stuff. What we need to do, expand our hive and defend against the next wave of enemies. That is to say, the evil hornets. How are we going to do that? We're going to build a factory. Okay. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is build out some honeycombs. I'm actually going to build out, build out a few honeycombs here. Build out a few honeycombs. Honeycombs are made by utilizing wax. Wax, very simply, is made in the wax factory. Uh, you can see the cost, by the way, of all of these things in the top right-hand corner. The, the factory of, of wax, I'm going to build right... Uh, do I want to build it right there? Sure, I'll build it there. I'll leave a little a little gap, although that maybe isn't the most useful thing, but I, I kind of want to add additional additional storages uh, for all of these resources uh, kind of in the ring around, so that maybe isn't the craziest thing in the world. Uh, so yeah, we'll build the factory of wax. The factory of wax is quite simply going to... Let's actually add some additional pollen storage for reasons which will become very clear very quickly. Uh, factory of wax is going to transform pollen into wax. The wax is going to allow us to build more fast additional... Uh, additional honey uh, honeycomb tiles, which is quite nice. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get additional pollen storage in all of these bins. That basically means that our bees are going to go and harvest more resources from the islands over here. They're going to go and pick up some pollen from these little outcrops. That's fine. Uh, and now that we've got more pollen storage, we should be able to accommodate a little bit more. Let's actually get ourselves an additional wax factory. I think two is a good uh, a good place to be. They're very very cheap to build, and it gives us it just gives us that little bit of extra sort of security that we're able to build wax uh, pretty darn pretty darn quickly. Okay, so far so good. What else can we build? Well, uh, not very much at the moment. Uh, we can build ourselves a kindergarten, which is going to allow us to hatch more bees. I think we'll build that actually around here. Let's get some additional storage for honey, and then. We'll build the kindergarten right here. The reason being is that honey is required in order to make brand new bees, and it would be quite nice to have it in, you know, relatively close proximity. We're also going to need to build a, a unique building that we have. This is the research center. It's required to learn new technologies. I think we're going to build that up here. Let's zone out some more storage for that, and then... How big was this thing? This is a pretty big building. Yeah, it actually gets bigger. Holy cow. There we go. I think it's that big. Cool. Uh, that's going to take a lot of wax. That is going to take a lot of wax, hence why we're going to need two wax factories. But that's okay. Right, let's get the bee kindergarten down. Uh, right in there. Perfect. What does the bee kindergarten cost? It costs wax and it also costs nectar. The nectar is not going to be a problem. The wax, however, is going to be a problem. Let's go into like three times speed. What else can we build? We can build additional nectar storage. I'm not bothered about that. And we can also build additional pollen storage, which I've already done. Cool. Right. That is sort of a very, very brief synopsis of the of the bee game. Uh, we've also got, uh, I guess, a capacity limit up here. We can build up to 500 hexagonal tiles and we can build up to or we can hatch up to uh, 300 bees, both of which uh, need not concern us at a time like this. We're, we're, we're pretty okay, I think, in, in terms of 
in terms of the bees we've got. Let's get that research center zoned and let's start unlocking new buildings, new factories, new weapons. Supposedly, yeah, you can get nuclear weapons. I have no idea how on earth bees are supposed to manage nuclear weapons, uh, but it is technologically possible in this game, apparently. So there you go. Anyway, let's not focus on the long term. Let's focus on the short term and let's focus on survival for now. Okay, bee hatching is kind of interesting. We have got three different types of bees. I've already talked about them. Ordinary bees can't fight but can carry resources and can build kindergarten and factory wax. Fine. Fighter bees, protector of the queen, unlike workers, can fight. And we've also got builder bees, carries resources and can build buildings. They all take nectar and honey to uh, to make. Now, we don't actually have any way of making honey at the moment, so any bees that I build, and I'm going to build three, uh, three fighter bees, uh, it will take it will take uh, resources that we cannot currently replenish. That's fine. We'll deal with that in just a second. Uh, it also takes an egg. Now, this is the queen in the center here, uh, sitting on a royal throne. She'll occasionally do things like drink a cup of coffee or read a book or any of these fun little activities that only she gets to do and all the other workers have to have to work hard. Solidarity, am I right? Uh, she, ev every 30 seconds or so, lays, uh, lays an egg, which are stored on these lovely little royal blankets. Uh, and one of those eggs will turn into a bee, which uh, I think actually that was a bee that was just... Or be an egg that was just dropped off there. Whatever the case, there we go. Rolls in, it gets incubated, and it will get turned into... Turned into a fighter bee. Eggs being refilled, honey being refilled. That's looking pretty good to me. There we go. Look at that. A brand new bee. A way to join the a way to join the club. What the heck are you reading there, buddy? What the heck are you read? It's a it's a <laughs> you're reading about the game that you're starring in. That is excellent. Okay. Uh, happy days. We got a wave that is uh, that is due in a minute. That's fine. Not a big deal. Let's talk science before the enemy get here. Uh, three branches of tech. Military research, bee research, and construction research. We are immediately going to build the honey factory because we want to be able to hatch more hatch more bees. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost us... Uh, what is this? Pollen, pollen, nectar, nectar. You can actually see. And as these little bins get filled up on the outside of the research lab... Look at that. There we go. They're color coordinated as well. Uh, it'll actually show as green. Look at it. There we go. Very, very nice indeed. So the honey factory is going to allow us to build more honey, uh, which is great. Super, super useful. And in fact, let's get let's get uh, let's get some some preemptively preemptively prep the layout for two honey factories. I've uh, I've done a little bit of this uh, this this game in the tutorial, so I know what the honey factory looks like. It's not the same design as the factory of wax, but we will see soon enough anyway. Uh, not a big deal. This is all looking very, very good. I'm very, very happy with this. Let's actually breed some additional ordinary bees. I think we've got plenty of fighter bees for now. What have we got? Six flying around. And actually, just in the nick of time, we are going to be under attack by the nasty hornets. That's right. The hornets are the ones that are driving us towards nuclear domination. There we go. You can actually see. It's just a single hornet for the first wave. Uh, but our bees are going to absolutely annihilate him. Hopefully, we won't take any casualties. There we go. We just about managed. But they got him. Okay. Those nasty hornets are sticking their whiskers in our honey again. They think since they're bigger, since they are bigger means they can do anything. This time we have fought back, but we can't relax. Let's start strengthening the hive. Indeed, let's start strengthening the hive. And in fact, the honey factory is just being completed, which is good. A um, couple of other things that we can get. By giving our bees spears, we can better resist the hornet whiskers. Increases damage dealt by defender bees by 25%. That's pretty freaking huge. Let's do it. We've also got save yourself. Order civilian bees to stop what they're doing and gather around the queen. Okay. Improved hinge. By installing a new hinge, the grinding speed will increase. Wax production increased by 25%. I think I'm honestly probably more interested in the construction uh, research than any other sort of pathway here, but I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Right, let's get two factories of honey. This is gonna cost two wax to build. And I'm actually gonna build I'm actually gonna build all of that, so we should use up all of this wax here. Uh, but this is gonna refine. This is gonna refine. This is going to refine nectar and pollen in order to make honey. So we really do need to breed more, more ordinary bees. I'm going to queue up ten. That's going to be quite a quite a big investment. But you know, with all of this honey, we're going to make 
we're going to make everything that we need. Uh, and we're going to keep on doing as much research as we possibly can at the same time. And I think we're going to go into three times speed because there's nothing really that we need to happen now apart from time to pass. I'm fine with this. This is looking very, very good. I'm chuffed with this. Yeah. Honey. Honey is equal to pollen and nectar, both of which I'm happy with. Right. Let's also double up on... Some storage. We'll get some more nectar. Uh, some more nectar storage. We are like absolutely out of pollen right now, which I really don't love. But not much we can really do about that, I suppose. There we go. Additional nectar storage. Happy days. Right. We got the spear, so we've got a little defense bonus. That's good. That should keep us going through the next wave. Do I need an improved hinge? I probably do want an improved hinge. I also probably just want to like make progress on this uh, tech tree just in general. So let's do that. Right. I, I just need more harvesters. I really, really do need more harvesters. So let's work on the uh, let's work on the honey. The honey should be moved from here, literally directly over to here. It might have to be moved into storage first, but then it can be moved over here. Or actually, it looks like it's going to be prioritized towards research. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with that. Research, research is always good to is always good to prioritize. Uh, but I do need. I do need more breeding. If I'm able to get more breeding, then we're able to harvest more uh, more people. Uh, I'm actually going to stop work on that specific factory and also in this factory as well. Our pollen is probably better spent doing other things, so I would like to do that. There we go. Nice. Lots and lots of honey. In fact, we got loads of honey. It's feeling very, very good. Okay, what is this? Mead. More honey, more honey. Uh, yeah, I'm interested. Small fountain? Deco building unlocked. Oh, I don't care about it. I don't care about a fountain. I don't care about a fountain if that's the case. Let's go for, let's go for mead. Sure, let's go for mead because additional honey production would be nice. It means that we're not going to use as much uh, pollen and nectar, both of which is, I don't want to say in short supply right now, but it's kind of in short supply right now. So it would be good if we didn't have to worry about that. What do we need? More honey in order to make this. That should be fine. Okay. Next wave is due very, very soon indeed. And we're getting on the research bandwagon, which is great. Okay. I am happy about how much honey we're producing. Excellent. Wax storage. Uh, allows you to accumulate reserves of wax. Uh, maybe that's kind of useful. Reduce the weight of the bucket by making it forager bee speed by 20%. Let's get save yourself and then let's immediately get forager bee speed. That seems really, really great. I am happy with how much... I'm happy with how much production capability we've got. Uh, I might want to grab a few additional fighter bees for this next round. I think we should be okay with six, but some of them might have taken some damage. Either way, we should be... We should be fine to... We should be fine. We should be fine with regards to the time frame that we're we're accomplishing this. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy. Reasonably happy. This is all looking very, very good. 22 bees, 68 tiles, nothing else to build that is pressing. Almost filled on the honey storage, which is great. Our next attack is coming. What do we need? We need more nectar. Yeah, we basically just need to... We need to increase our foraging speed. We need to increase our foraging speed. We're, we're good on the production of honey. We're good on the production of, of wax. We don't even need it, to be honest, at the moment. We've got two, three hornets coming. Okay. Uh, our bees are 25% more, more deadly. Oh, we've lost one. Our bees are 25% more deadly. I'm not sure if that's going to mean much in the grand scheme of things, but we are breeding more fighters. So let's do that. Oh my giddy ant. I can't even see. They're off the they're off the map. Anyway, more more bees. Okay, one of our one of our bees went down, another one of our bees went down. Oh my goodness, there's still two of them up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Oh my goodness, they're falling like flies. They're falling like flies. We need to breed more. We need to breed more. When am I going to finish this research? Save yourself. Um, aluminium bucket. We'll get that in just a second. Oh, look. They're attacking my flipping... They're attacking my regular bees. Please? Please don't? Fill up the honey. Fill up the honey. Okay. We're on 15 bees. They're attacking everyone by the looks of things. Um, there we go. We actually managed to defend there. Uh, that did cost us a little bit. We now have no... 
We now have no other bees. Right, we're going to have to get an aluminium bucket because that is so unbelievably important that we start foraging properly. We're also going to have to rebuild, like, a bigger army. Like, that's pretty important, to be honest. Yeah, rebuild, rebuild all. Rebuild all of our, all of our fighters. And then we're also going to see if we can try and get some more defensive capability, I think. So after we get the aluminium bucket, we'll turn this back on. Just one of them back on for now. My queen, I have important news. Our scouts have noticed that the Hornets have teamed up with the Dragonflies. Dragonflies are going to target our buildings and spray some kind of toxic substance. Okay, well, I'm not overly enthusiastic about that happening. I've got to be honest. Right. Aluminium buckets we've got. A weapon capable of firing a huge amount of arrows. Yes, let's do it. Accumulation of Hornets? Yes, 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 yes. Trained bees will be able to lift more honey. I'm interested, but like not not super important. Honey, we're actually good for. We're very, very good for honey. Urge all the bees to the queen for protection. Okay, we can, we can do that. Keep on, keep on going with the honey. That's fine. Let's, uh, slow it down to one time speed. So we've got the kav Kavaka. If we introduce wing training, the defender bees will be able to intercept hornets faster. Haystack serves an excellent helmet. Bee health, aim better, increases the range of the Hawacha shot. Uh, I mean, try this. Oh my goodness gracious me. Let's go... Sure. Demolish this. I don't actually care about either of those. Yeah, let's go, let's go for this. Let's see what, let's see what else we can do. Increases the speed. Double, double bottom. Thor's hammer. Now the bees have new hammers. Building construction speed increased by 20%. A ballista? I'm interested in the ballista. Give me improved give me improved penetration. Let's get Let's get this building. I think it only costs one wax. That's kind of a big deal. That basically costs nothing. Let's build two of them then. As long as we're actually fighting in like this area, that'll be good. Are we doing fine for honey. We're doing fine for honey. This is all looking, this is all looking okay. I'm worried about these dragonflies, though, I must say. I'm very, very worried about the dragonflies. Nice. Do I need another kindergarten? I may need an additional kindergarten. Defense structures detect and destroy enemies. Uh, they do so on their own, but we can also take control of them. Heck yeah, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, I'm very, very interested in that. That is going to be brilliant. Okay, right. Do I want to get another kindergarten? I feel like maybe another kindergarten squeezed in there would be pretty good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we need more nectar. We need more honey. We just need more regular bees as well. We'll start breeding some more regular bees. Right, haystack, an excellent helmet, fresh milk. Bee production time reduced by 50%. That would be pretty good. Uh, give me the, give me the telescope. We'll, we'll get the telescope first. I'll also turn that back on. And then we'll go into three times speed. We got three minutes until the next wave. There's quite a lot of stuff to be, to be doing in that time. Uh, there's a lot of building to be done. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of strain on our wax supply at the moment. That is to be, to be expected, to be honest. Uh, we have a lot of defenders, a lot of bee defenders. And we got a lot of defensive structures now. So I'm really, really hoping that we're going to be able to maybe invest in our economy a little bit rather than rather than just investing in our immediate defense, which is fine, you know. Uh, double bottom, wax storage. Let's not actually do any research quite yet. Let's wait until we've got a few more, a few more resources. Right. Let's get 10 additional just normal worker bees. That should be fine. Kindergarten. Right in there. Good, 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 good. Nice. Okay. So we're expecting the dragonflies. Let's get the haystack. Uh, we're expecting the dragonflies pretty soon. Don't know how soon, though. Probably this wave, if I had to imagine. Right. So is the kindergarten... Yeah, the kindergarten's got... They've got individual production queues, which is fine. We'll get 10 worker bees at each, and that should get us into a good place. Right, how's that helmet coming along? 
Need a little bit more pollen. Right. Where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? They're over here. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Dragonflies? Dragonflies? <laughs> what the heck is happening? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my goodness gracious me. There we go. Have at ye. Reloading. Quick. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. That is fantastic. Okay. Um, I think we got the dragonfly. I don't think that we suffered any any issues. Maybe I was wrong with that. There's a little flame over there. Maybe a few things need to be repaired. But honestly, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, not a not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Okay. We are going pedal to the metal on additional worker bees. We are absolutely going after more worker bees. In fact, we're going to go more worker bees three times speed. Double bottom, I would like that. Thor's hammer, maybe. Honey production cost reduced by 50%. Wax storage. Let's let's do that. Let's go to let's go to honey honey cost production. I feel like we just are not accumulating any amount of pollen, which is kind of problematic. But we're breeding more bees, so that's that's okay. Yeah. We're doing what we can. We're breeding as many bees as we possibly can. And in fact, the queen is. Actually, the queen's probably keeping up in terms of production, so that's not too bad. A new era. Oh my goodness gracious me. A new era of bee research. Uh, new dishes will help reduce the cost of rearing bees. Defender cost production reduced by 25%. That's pretty good. Defender bee production time reduced. Let's get let's get them all. Let's get them all. We obviously have to get them all. Okay. I think I'm reasonably happy with my defensive capabilities at the moment. It's pretty good, I think. Honey production is fine. Ordinary bee production is fine. Yeah, and we're actually starting to see our pollen reserves increase a little bit, which is good. It's exactly what we want to see. How are we doing? Two more pollen. Yeah, two more pollen. It's literally just pollen that we need, apparently. Yeah, kind of shows that we do continue to need to pump out some additional ordinary bees. We'll get more. We'll get way more. Yeah, I think that should be fine. More eggs, please, from the queen. That'd be great. Uh, filter, so that's going to be good. Fresh milk. Let's go fresh milk next. We've got plenty of honey, I think. Maybe not quite enough honey, but we'll we'll get there soon. Right, new era. Yeah, we'll go to a new era in just a second. Let's get, uh, let's get this sorted first. Lots and lots of pollen, lots and lots of wax. Oh, I can actually get wax storage, can't I? Yeah, I can get wax storage. Let's go to the new era. Oh, I see. We got a second page. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, our research center has become... <laughs> We've got a telescope here. Military reform. We need to radically revise the military component of the B state. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess we do. That's re it's really important. Okay. Give me a ballista first. Uh, we can't do any more research facilities, so we have to just deal with the research facilities as we have them. Uh, I will get more wax storage. Sure. I'll get more... I'll get more pollen storage as well. Sure, just build more build more tiles in general. And we get pollen storage. Yeah, lots of additional pollen storage. Keep buzzing away there. Go MRE. Nice. Okay, the next wave is coming. How are we doing? We need more honey? Yeah, we need more honey. Oh my goodness gracious me. We've got a we got a flipping we got a buzzing little colony here. This is great. I think we do have enough defense for this, but I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Uh this is a lot of pollen, by the way. This is a mega amount of pollen. Huge amount of pollen. 
What do we need? A little bit more honey? Yeah, anything that doesn't take honey, basically, to do research is, is going to be nice. It's going to take 30 seconds to get those MREs done. Uh, I could build some more defensive structures, you know. Build some more defensive structures, maybe over here, over here. It'll cost nothing. I mean, we've already got all of the wax. We've got two wax factories that are capable of producing all of it, so... Why not? Also, that needs to be wax storage, doesn't it? Yeah, not sure why I missed that one. That's fine. Oh, yeah, let's get some ballistas. Oh, they're, these are big. These are big. <laughs> Just look at the... Look at this, the firing speed. I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. <laughs> That's a dive bombing operation. Oh no. That's not good. Whatever the heck that was. That's not good. Okay, give me a bowstring. Sure. <laughs> I just, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, give me these two, give me these two, and then we'll get ballistas like over here as well. Yeah, that's fine. Is that big enough? Yeah, that's big enough. That's not necessary, but that's okay. Okay, there's a little, uh, a little repairing to get done, but that's fine. I don't think we took any, maybe took a few fighters as damage, but like nothing crazy. Oh no, they're destroying my... Uh... They're destroying my storage by just existing, by just blowing up. Okay, we'll we'll repair that. That's fine. Right. Ballistas. It's literally just hardened wax. Oh, it's such a good deal. It's such a good deal. It's so cheap. Right, more research. Bowstring, we're working on it. Uh, small fountain, I really... Adds coziness to your hive. Do I care about that? Increase bucket capacity. Yeah, I'd like to get bucket capacity before we move on to the next era. Our scouts have noticed that the Hornets have teamed up with the Ladybugs. The Ladybugs are going to target our buildings and drop their larva on them. Okay, well, that's okay. We have... We're working on the defensive... We're working on the defensive capability of this place. Our bees take risks every day. Our nurses will distribute a hot cup of nectar with sweet honey. Ambrosia factory. Military reform. Anti-aircraft gun. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, this is this is ridiculous, but I love it. It's ridiculous in a fantastic way. This is excellent. Okay, there's a lot of a lot of defensive structures that we've got here. Let's get more let's get more harvesting capability. More harvesting capability. Yes, please. We actually should probably get some let's get some uh, builder bees. Yeah, I, I don't actually think I have any of those. Yeah, and we've got a lot of bees just sort of swarming around. Oh my goodness gracious me, that thing is cool. Right. Military reform, let's get an anti-aircraft gun. <laughs> sure. Oh no, we need, um, we need hardened wax. We need hardened wax for that. Let's get a hardened wax factory, sure. I guess we can build that over here. Right. Drop to one time speed. Give me... A few additional regular wax factories, because I presume we're going to have to reprocess wax into hardened wax. So let's get a few more, a few more factories that are going to be capable of doing, doing the first stage of the production process. Right. And we'll see, there we go, hardened wax factory is officially built. Let's see how big this is. Uh, not too big. Actually, totally fine. Let's build another one up here, I guess. There we go. Leaving a little bit of space. It is all connected, though, obviously, which is quite nice. And let's continue on with our research. Ambrosia Factory, a school. You can now train builders of level 2 in it. Okay. Uh, I'll build a build a medical center. I mean, we're about to undergo a about to undergo an assault anyway. Let's see if we can try and do some medical research. Right, hardened wax factory, hardened wax factory. What does that actually take to build? Literally just two regular wax. Wow, wax is super, wax is super easy to come by. Literally just pollen. Okay. 
that. So that's going to get built reasonably quickly. I'm maybe a little bit worried about our defensive capability over on this side of the side of the factory. But I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Medical center needs a little bit more honey. Oh, we need ambrosia. We need ambrosia. We need ambrosia first. That's fine. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, are we going to see any any ladybugs? Oh my goodness, they're huge. Oh, they're like they're like nothing else. <laughs> no, not on my research building. Not on my research building. Don't engage over there. Oh my giddy ant. Oh my goodness. I got him. They're dropping dropping something. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, we we brought down the ladybird. <laughs> I just I can't get over this. I cannot get over this. Did we survive? Did we survive? Where are the attack? Oh, there's still some attacks happening. Why are we engaging over here? Why are we engaging over here, guys? We shouldn't be doing this. We should not be doing this. We should be engaging closer to home. Okay. Uh, ambrosia storage. Give me ambrosia storage. That's fine. I guess we'll build... What is this? Honey and nectar. Right. Okay. We're going to need additional... We're going to need some honey storage in the first instance, but that's fine. Right. Two ambrosia factories right over here. Do I need to build more fighter bees? I think I'm going to build some more fighter bees. Let's build five in either... Five in either facility. It's going to cost us a little bit of honey, but that's okay. Do we have honey storage yet? No, we do not have honey storage yet. Right, ambrosia storage we'll get. We'll get pretty darn soon. School I'm interested in. Double bottom. Additional bucket capacity. Additional bucket capacity is probably quite nice to do. We'll maybe do that next. Right. Hardened... Wax. What does the hardened wax factory actually use? Nectar, pollen, and wax. Okay, well, you know what? I still don't think it was a bad thing to do to get all of these additional uh, facilities to produce regular wax. But that's fine. Oh yeah, we've got a barracks as well. This is insane. One, two, three. Is that it? I think that should be it. Let's build it. Let's build it over there. Why? I don't know. I just have a feeling that over there is a good place to, to do it. Right. Two of these. Excellent. And we'll replace pollen storage that clearly got destroyed. And we'll build some more barracks as well for protector bees. Is that the right size? Have I built the right size? I have indeed. Excellent. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh yeah, I, I built the builder bees. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere. They're definitely floating around. Excellent. Get that built. What do we actually require for it? Oh, we do actually require ambrosia for it. So it's two hardened wax and one, uh, one ambrosia. Right, what are we working on research-wise at the moment? We need three ambrosia. Well, stop building that and instead build double bottom for now. Build double bottom for now because that at least we can do. No point in doing research that we can't do until all of the, the stuff is actually built here. There we go. Pretty much everything is being filled up instantaneously. The fact that we don't have additional honey storage is kind of kind of winding me up. We only have literally three tiles that we can use. Thor's hammer, sure, let's do it. Builder worker speed increased by 20%. That's pretty significant. We can do that relatively quickly as well. We are starting to build ambrosia. That's good. We will be able to throw that into the barracks pretty soon. That's good. Build five more worker bees in each. We should always just be like trying to build worker bees. Uh, and fighter bees even. Is what I meant. There we go. So that's a good number. Thor's hammer. We'll build a small fountain. Why not? And then we'll go into tier two after we've done all this sort of stuff in tier one. Uh, we can build fighter bees level two. Nice. Okay. Cue them up. So that's going to take Ambrosia and also Nectar. That's fine. We're fine with all this. Oops. Why are we going? We're going too fast. Hold on. We're going too fast. Why is this not working? 
Hold on, stop, video game. This is uh, the menus bug. I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh real quick. Okay, we're back. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. The menu is uh, the menu is better, so we can go back to. Oh my goodness gracious me! What the heck? We get him? I don't know if we got him. What about this? Oh my goodness, we're being strafed by dragonflies. <laughs> what the heck? We, uh, the ballistas are not enough. The ballistas are not enough. Right. Let's get Palm Professor. Scientists improve their skills. Research time reduced. That's good. That's exactly what we need. We are losing a lot of supplies. We need way more ballistas. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at the damage that these things are doing. Like, very, very significant damage. Right. Get all that repaired. And we're gonna... We're going to instigate quite the defense spending program here. Right. The, the, the fighter bees can't even catch up. And if they do, it's too late. They're trying their best, but they're just not, they're just not managing. Honey storage. Oh, finally. Okay, so that's where honey storage is. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so the tier one... The tier one of the... Goodness gracious me. The tier one of the thingies, these thingies, are not great. We need to get more ballistas, I think. And we, we need to get the anti-aircraft gun. Why don't I not... Why don't I not worry about this and instead get the anti-aircraft gun? Oh my goodness, they're coming back. Come on. Okay, good. We got him eventually. But after taking a lot of damage, right. I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of fighter B level twos. That's fine. Professor, we're going to get. We need more honey for that. That's fine. We should be able to get more honey. I might just get more honey production anyway. There we go. More honey production. That's going to be good. This place is reserved for a ballista, but I would like to get, like, more stuff first. There's loads and loads of stuff in the level 2 area that I would love to get, but I just can't get at the moment because we're just waiting for... We're just waiting for resources to come through. Right, okay. I don't think that we want to be building any more fighter bee level 1s. I think our kindergartens should be entirely reserved for regular bees. And then all the advanced bees should be built over here. We just need to wait until we get the ambrosia. Uh, the ambrosia needs honey, for which we're accommodating. Two extra factories over here and over here. That's fine. We'll get them both. They're pretty easy to build. And in fact, we should be able to build them quite quickly as well. Right, that goes in there, that goes in there. More wax storage, that's good. Lots and lots of stuff happening here. Right, honey storage, let's absolutely get. I think that that's really, really, really important for us because I'm sick and tired of having to rely on no honey storage. And in fact, you know what, let's get... Let's get, let's get two additional, let's get two additional factories. Two additional honey factories. Right in here, right in here. It'll take no time at all. We'll get it done. Because I think, honestly, the issue at the moment isn't, like, base resource collection. It's the fact that we're just not getting... We're just not getting enough stuff turned into honey. We're just not getting resources turned into honey. Honey storage is going to be a major, major win for us. And, in fact, let's prep out... Let's build all these spaces in anticipation of getting honey storage... Boom, that has been built. Let's go into the next era. Ambrosia storage, school. Uh, Anti-aircraft gun. Let's get the anti-aircraft gun. We should be able to build that pretty much immediately. We should have the hardened wax right over here, ready to rock and roll. Do these guys take hardened wax? No, they don't. That's nice. Okay. Lots and lots and lots of honey storage there. That's good. That should make a difference. We should be fine. So, we'll get the anti-aircraft gun in the first instance. Ideally, we can get that built before the enemy arrive. I don't think that we should have any issues with that. Peaky blinders. Damage of defender bees will be increased by 20%. Or a rocket launcher? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say no, am I? I'm not going to say no. I'm very, very keen on this. Honey storage is looking marvelous, by the way. Keep going on the bees. The bees level two. There we go. Excellent. That's that completed. And let's...
turn it back down to one time speed whilst we decide what to get. Medical center? Sure. We should have the ambrosia. We should have the ambrosia needed to make it happen. I hope anyway. Right, let's get that anti-aircraft gun down. Oh, perfect. It fits in exactly the same mold as... It's too hard and wax a piece. Oh, it's maybe a little bit expensive. Fits exactly the mold that we needed to fix, which is which is good, but hardened uh, hardened wax is going to take a little bit of time to produce. Okay, we'll maybe get two additional hardened wax factories. Yeah, right in here and over here. Either way, if we're not completely ready by the time of the attack, we'll be we'll be close to being ready. Which is what's mostly important, I think. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have like one, maybe two anti-aircraft turrets built. Oh, the builders are building them very, very quickly, actually. Massive swarm of builders. Good stuff. <laughs> what the heck? Honestly, what the heck? Okay, the Hornets are no longer a problem. I think we've got a decent... I think we've got a decent setup here. This anti-aircraft turret is exactly what we need. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe we're being strafed. <laughs> We're being dived bombed by by dragonflies. What the heck? Uh, yeah. What? Five hornets going to our side? Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> this is craziness. This is absolutely craziness. Okay, it would have been nice if we had more of these anti-aircraft guns. They're good. They're really good, I think. I like them a lot. Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely have more of those in a little bit. That's really, really nice. We've got two more over there and maybe one more over here. Potentially in this position right next to the ballista. Okay, that's good. We did lose the two turrets over here. But that's fine. Hardened wax we now are making way more of, which is great. And how are we doing? We just need a little bit more ambrosia in order to get that. Storage of hardened wax, storage of ambrosia, very, very useful. Thanks to new formula, wax has become stronger. Durability of all buildings increased by 50%. A howitzer? I would love to see a howitzer. I would absolutely love to see a howitzer. Do I care about a palm? No, no, I don't care about a Pam. I do not. Right. Okay, let's let's get ourselves a howitzer. We'll get agitation. I'm really interested to see the next wave. Royal food. Queen's health increased by 50%. That's only a problem if the queen actually, like, loses HP. And to be fair to myself, I don't actually think that she's lost that much HP recently. So, that's good. I'm going to get some more ambrosia factories over here because it's clear that that's what we need just two i think will be fine research wise let's get peaky blinders then let's get the howitzer i'm gonna use agitation whenever i possibly can i want to use the rocket launcher as well but let's let's actually see if we can try and get the howitzer first i do think though in terms of just general how things are going this uh i'm feeling pretty good let's get some additional builders five builders Five builders apiece. Let's get... Oh, we're continuing to train these guys. That's fine. As I say, I feel like now would be a great time to get Ambrosia storage and Hardened Wax storage. Both of those would be super useful. But I'm not going to get either of them because I don't care about that. I just care about getting a Howitzer. One more Ambrosia. Yeah. Okay. We should get this before the next... Before the next... Uh, before the next wave. Come on. One more single Ambrosia. This is what storage is useful for. 30 seconds. Oh yeah, damage of defender bees will be increased by 20%. I feel like I've got quite a lot of defender bees. All of the level 2s are flying around the... Uh, flying around the barracks here. Which is not bad. 
Howitzer, new commander. We need a new commander. The preparation time for new defender bees is reduced by 30%. Okay, that's good. Uh, hardened wax, we should have quite a bit of. If we don't, we should be able to make it quite quickly. It'd be really, really nice if we could get this howitzer up and running before the next wave. Ooh, we're quite, cl we're going to be quite close. We're going to be quite close. Let's let's build a big spot uh, on the assumption that a howitzer is going to be a big cannon. There we go. Okay, new commander. Give me a new commander. Sure. Let's go into one times speed. Right. How big is it? Oh yeah, a medical center. I, I almost forgot we had a medical center. In fact, no, let me rephrase that. I absolutely did forget that we had a medical center. There we go. We'll build a medical center really soon. Don't worry. Howitzer, how big is a howitzer? It's not that big. It's not that big. We can probably build two of them down here then. Why the heck not? <laughs> oh, agitation. Agitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are my hornets now. These are my hornets. They're going to attack the enemies. Still being strafed, though. Oh, lots of damage. Lots of damage. Oh, is that the ladybird that's been taken out? No, not quite yet. There's lots and lots of ladybirds coming in here. Or ladybugs, I should say. Although we brought that one down pretty darn quickly. That's really good. That one landed on us, obviously. Less than less than ideal. Okay. Are we good? New commander, preparation time for the defender bees. I, I really you know what? Actually, in hindsight, I don't think that actually matters. I would love to go to the next era. Elite regiment? The most outstanding scientists. Time required for research is reduced. A minigun? Improved medicines? I'm going to get an elite regiment, sure. Uh, oh, look, you can see the entirety of the base has changed. So uh, the research center has become a funky, a new funky, uh, new funky setup. Oh, we need one more up here. Uh, it's become a new, it's become a new, got a new funky setup over here. We got a big old globe in the middle here. Or a disco ball thing. That's fine. Uh, and also everything else has changed color. Also, we've got a hornet. I'm delighted. I'm delighted that we've still got a hornet on payroll. That's great. Don't get me wrong. Very, very happy. Let's get that in there. Excellent. Build a medical center. <laughs> what the heck? What the action? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you, you just knew it was going to be ridiculous, didn't you? You just knew it was going to be ridiculous. Okay, uh, let's leave in peace. Now 10 Hornets will switch sides. That's cool. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I think this is the last era. I'm not sure. Um, I think it is the last era. Uh, we are actually going to wrap things up right about there, ladies and gents. Uh, B Island. Uh, it's, a, it's a four thumbs up from me. This is an excellent game. Um, this is a game that does not take itself seriously at all. And as a consequence, ends up being excellent. This is a really great little factory builder slash defense game. I love it. I am absolutely here for it. Uh, I am so unbelievably, so unbelievably blown away by how polished, how good it actually feels. Uh, and I love the idea of my little bees operating a howitzer cannon. What more do you really want me to say? Um, anyway, ladies and gents, we're wrapping it up right about now. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.